Hello everyone, welcome to VB Advanced. In this video, I am going to show you how to use macros in Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So um, let me show you a Word file first. I have this Word file. And uh, this is converted uh, by using PDF Exchange Editor uh, uh, from PDF. So this is a file converted from PDF into Microsoft Word. But what this uh, software has done is that it has added certain watermarks on my file. And I want to delete these watermarks, right? So I go to do Developer Word first from where we can have this developer as a standard uh, we will not have developer okay so this is the standard menu of microsoft word first you have to go to file options just like we did in microsoft excel and you can have this developer from uh, this path uh, once this is menu is enabled you can see this developer and if you go to developer you have our your friend visual basic and in the visual basic uh, you have this document instead of this workbook so insert a module and start typing your macro this is that simple let me get away from your view so let's have sub um we test macro so I want to know uh, how many shapes are there. So MSG box. Now this is not active worksheet. This is active document. Active document because we are in Word. Dot shapes dot count. So let's run this. Why this is not running? MSG box active document dot shapes is equal to count. We are in module one. Let's run this. So there are 151 uh, shapes on this document. Okay. So what we can do is let's try to delete these shapes. Let's have another macro. Uh, let's call this test macro two active document dot shapes. Let's say um, for uh, my loop is equal to one to that was one hundred and fifty one occurrences. Then we can have next the my loop. So we can have this in between for and next uh, shapes dot the location should be my loop uh, or we can let's try to first delete the location zero dot delete and uh, let's run this macro two and we have an error the index into the specified collection is out of bounds so once it is it has deleted zero there is no zero you can say the my loop and let's ignore the error on error resume next and good way is to on error go to zero when before ending the macro we should always set the standard Back. So let's run this. So it is run, I think, and let's run our first macro again. It is again already 151. Why it's not deleting? So let's run this. Why not deleting any shape? And why I have okay. So it means that there is some other error 
let me think about it what is the all right i have found the error and the error was that this is my loop my loop and this is my loops so you must be very angry with me <laughs> for doing this mistake so let's run this and you can see things are getting disappeared and we still have some shapes but they are reduced to 75 now because um, uh, let's try to delete this 75 maybe there we can we will be able to do it yeah it's happening and we still have some shapes so they are 37 so every time they are decreasing by one which means that we instead of uh, uh, deleting on the basis of number let's try to delete the shape zero or one what happens now is it done but we still have 37 shapes so what about if we delete the shape on at location number one and i think now it is work there is no shape left so this is how you can use your macros in word this was very simple just like excel let's go to uh, uh, outlook now and let's use this macro in outlook let's open outlook do we have outlook this is linked to doc let's go to outlook and here is outlook we have developer menu again we shouldn't be having this developer menu my bad and let's turn it off this is how uh, outlook looks like again you have to go to file options customize ribbon you have to turn developer on and once you have this developer then go to visual basic and then you should have your module and you have this code and run this macro i'm just telling you that it's just like excel i'm not going to discuss this code right now i am just running this and you can see we have this new message with a subject mail to myself that it was appearing that is coming from this macro so simple things uh, you can uh, develop your macros you are expert now you have developed in excel to a very large extent and then you can use the, uh, this capability in word and outlook okay here we have this link okay what if i click on this link if i click on this link i should be going to a website and here is the website so you can see this website is from microsoft and this is giving you help on access excel office for mac outlook powerpoint project publisher visio word all these applications use vba so you can use this either this website or youtube or other material available on uh, the net to use your VBA skills in all these applications all right so we are nearing end of VBA advanced series we in this series so far we have talked about uh, how to control your workbooks how to what are the events how to code them what are active x controls how to control errors that are generated during execution of your code um, how to use active x controls external we used i think ink space control in excel what are objects what did we, we talked about object oriented language we talked about reference library and these libraries add power to your excel uh, we created zip file uh, we used with function to change the properties of a certain object uh, we uh, talked about how to be specific this workbook dot activate sheet one dot select uh, sheet sheets sheets sheet one dot select 
so so that macro should know where to work on and then we talked about uh, for next loop how each works and how we can use steps and we count books sheets and cells with help of uh, dot count or and the each uh, command uh, we use the sheet one reference sheets and uh, we refer the sheets with the name also we added menu we talked about add-ins we talked about how to control excel application we talked about user form combo box we send simple email then we send an email we we first we popped up the uh, email window then we saw the command that will directly place your uh, new email in the outbox then we uh, 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 enabled the outlook library into excel and we created an html email, email with html uh, code uh, that gave the email uh, a new look we can change font font color font size as we like uh, we talked about auto backups we will do this auto backup activity when we create a, a database then we talked about exporting uh, excel file to pdf and we talked about changing images and what are arrays uh, how to uh, pick values uh, from excel range and put them into array and then write it back to excel sheet how to protect our uh, vba code how to hide excel uh, uh, we can protect our VBA code, but that is not very firm. Uh, there, uh, if you want to uh, do uh, develop applications commercially, I would recommend buying a, a software that converts your XLS M files to EXE files. So, uh, and uh, th those software uh, will add more protection to your code. So, your, uh, that cannot be changed by the user or accessed by the user. Um, then uh, I talked about uh, environ uh, function of VBA and cell and info function of Excel, how they give you additional information about the user environment. Uh, in this video, I have talked about um, uh, how to use uh, macros in uh, Outlook and Word. Uh, in the last video, I talked about how, how to create a progress bar. Um, um, the e the uh, topics are complete. Uh, if I uh, uh, come up with a new topic, I will uh, add a video uh, to this series. But for uh, right now, what I have planned is that we are going to create tic tac toe uh, the game I showed you in at the start of the EBA lectures or the videos. Uh, we are going to create this tic tac toe na uh, uh, now. And after we have created this tic tac toe game, then we are going to uh, create uh, a database. So uh, you are done with uh, VB Advanced Topics. I hope that you have enjoyed them and you have learned learned VBA. So thank you for being with me. Uh, so from next video, I will start the tic tac toe development.